Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of, uh, you already guessed it, my vlog. All right, so today we're doing the walking and talking like we like to do here. Walking, talking, telling you what's up out here in Merida, Mexico. Now, today um, we're, we're gonna start, this is gonna be the first episode of, um, you know, I guess like the ugly truth of Merida, Mexico. Now, I'm not gonna just be making these kinds of videos um, going forward. Obviously, I'm gonna just make all kinds of videos, but you know, one of the things that I really wanna talk about is, you know, the things that nobody talks about, you know, not just here, but um, but all over, you know, all over the, the country and all over the place. Um, so the first thing we're gonna be talking about today, the first, you know, um, thing that is gonna be the subject of, uh, harsh criticism from me <clears throat> is going to be the bus system yep that's right the bus system i'm picking on that bus system now the reason you never very rarely see me ever on hola the very the reason why you very rarely ever see me on the bus or the bus system out here is because it kind of sucks i mean it does now i hear mixed reviews okay there are a few people out there that are even like uh expats that live out here or people that are you know that 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 they just started they moved out here live out here whatever and you know some of them tell me oh the bus system is great the bus system is awesome you know the bus system is all these things oh that, that see look this car's just parked here in the middle of the street here that was interesting <laughs> i thought it was like uh coming my way and i was like hey wait a minute nobody's driving that thing uh here let's go this way i don't want to get messed up anyway so okay. The bus system. It's literally the bus system that um, is not so good out here. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think, okay? My opinion. And uh, this opinion is based off of uh, not just experience, but of uh, other people as well that are out here. So, number one, I've talked to other people that come from other parts of Mexico or they come from other cities, you know, around the world. And, uh, and they literally, you know, uh, they literally... Um, also um, share the same thought about the bus system and in fact they give me more context so what do I mean well that I've, I've lived in many cities okay I've lived in cities like you know Miami um, well that's where I was born and raised where the bus system is eh, it's kind of lacking I've lived in places like um, LA where I never really took the bus system but they had a really you know pretty good uh transit system out there i lived in places like seattle where their transit system was so awesome that a lot of times i would just you know use the bus the train whatever as opposed to my car because it was just a million times more convenient now that's the kind of system you want now the system they have out here is just a bus system that it, it seems like they just kind of put together and as time went on it just like they didn't they didn't plan correctly like literally, it wasn't uh, planned out the right way, and um, and because of that, you know, we were, and you know, the, the end result is this mess that we have here. Now, let me explain a little further what I exactly, what I mean exactly by this being or like a really shitty bus system. So, usually, you know, bus routes um, in cities have, you know, they have bus routes, meaning that. Um, for example, bus A will just travel down uh, uh, Street 65 and just up and down or others, you know, will have certain routes and they kind of come full circle or they go from point A to point B and so on and so forth. Like meaning like uh, like in Seattle, let's say like in Seattle, I would just have to like, I, I would literally just point and say, I want to go to here, you know, like the, the most furthest off place you can imagine and then just um you know it, it will literally tell you okay just go to this bus stop and then get on this bus and then they do this and then do that and it was all okay now but here it's it's really not like that case even though i can literally just you know look look there's buses right over here i'm not gonna flag them down but all i gotta do is just flag them down and they'll stop and they'll take me somewhere but how the fuck am I supposed to know where the fuck that shit's going? It, even my girlfriend and some locals out here, you know, un, un, unless it's this one that's going straight to the beach. Unless it's that one that's going straight to the beach. You know, for the fucking most part, you're like, where the fuck am I going? Now, 
for example, I can get on any bus and it'll take me straight to the center. So for the most part, you know what I mean? Like most areas, I can just get on a most random buses. But again, you gotta be careful because you'll end up in, you know, probably the worst part of the neighborhood, the worst part of the city. Um, but anyways, you can most likely just get on any bus in most parts of the city and it'll take you straight to the center. And then in the center, in the center of the city, once you're at the center of the city, at that point, once you're at the center of the city at that point, then you can, uh, you know, then is when you get your other bus that'll take you elsewhere. So in a lot of places, you know, which is kind of shitty. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking traffic out here. Here, let me show you. Come on. Is it, oh, there's a green light. I didn't even notice the lights. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I didn't even notice that traffic lights. I was like, what the hell, no stop sign? Anyways, so, yeah, like I was saying, so like, you know, the, the shitty part is, is that like, let's just say that I want to go, I, I'm, I'm, clo I'm close to like the north center of the city, but let's just say I want to go to the north of the city. You know, most of the time, what I really have to do is that I have to go south to get, a, you know, to get to the, to where all the buses are. And then I got to figure out which exact bus is the one that takes me to the exact to location where I want to go to. And that's the thing. Um, that's that's also kind of shitty because you know look if, if, if this if the bus system were to look So what sucks about the bus system here? Let me let me be specific is the fact that all buses congregate in the center and then from the center they go wherever the fuck they're gonna go and so No matter what you always have to end up going to the center and then getting another bus in the center and a lot of times, you know, like you'll see that bus and you're thinking, oh great, wonderful. See, right now there's nobody on the bus. It's like uh, all the buses are pretty much empty because it's uh, it's still very early in the morning and people are just, you know, getting back to school, going to work, that whole deal. But um, let's say on a Saturday afternoon, you know, let's just say Saturday afternoon, you know, like when you see me and my girlfriend on the bus sometimes, you know, it's like, that's just packed like a, like a, like a can of sardines up in there. You know, you barely got any breathing room, you know, and, uh, and that's assuming, that's assuming that a bus even stops because sometimes, you know, you're at the bus stop and it's like bus after bus after bus after bus and they're all packed. Like you see people hanging out the fucking side, you know, coming out the windows and you know, it's, it's cool. It's all right sometimes, but not all the time. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, you went to the store, you're carrying a bunch of shit and you know, you just want a regular bus ride without somebody rubbing their balls in your face, you know, or whatever. Um, but it's it's uh see look that bus was completely packed full of people you know what i mean like the bus right before that there was nobody nobody there and um you know that's that's the interesting thing about a lot of this stuff you know what i mean like that for whatever reason they never upgraded you know the bus system here they never upgraded uh the um, the infrastructure for the bus system because you know all they really really had to do more than anything else all they really had to do more than anything else is just, you know, set new bus routes, you know, just kind of like, you know, you know, same thing with the way you do with traffic lights. You know, if there's a lot of traffic. If there's a city with a lot of major traffic, you know, one of the things that you would do is that you got to, you know, get a traffic engineer to help you, you know, to help you with, um, you know what I mean? Like uh, making sure that the traffic patterns um, within your city are better. So that way it'll alleviate traffic, but they don't do that here. You know, in fact, what, what they're doing is that they're nothing, they're doing nothing. So, like, a lot of times in the center, you know, a lot of times in the center when there's, like, just any kind of, uh, any kind of event going on, it's a fucking shit show because they never, they only close a couple streets here and there, and then that's it. And then it's, like, a free-for-all, and then, like, all the cars keep coming through, everyone's still, um, amassing at the center, and there's no real, like, um exhaust valve you know what i mean like okay go this way or lead traffic that way or no 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 they just fucking let everybody do whatever the fuck they want and then it just turns into a shit show so and uh, for example even on weekends like let's just say you know i'm like okay i'm gonna get on the bus instead of taking a 20 some odd minute walk and it's like you know just to literally it's just to, so you don't sweat but a lot of times you know the, the traffic is so bad that you you know it might drive for a few blocks and then you're sitting in traffic on that bus with no AC waiting to get to your destination and you're like bro I could have fucking walked there faster and a lot of times you can that's why I end up walking most of the time 
the reason I don't take a bus back because it's like I don't know I don't know what bus literally drives by by here when I went my girlfriend she's the one that knows and then a lot of times I'm like oh okay I think I know now is it this one and she's like no 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 if you go on this one it'll take you all the way over here and it's like fucking a bro and it's a pain and then like I know there's buses that literally stop like like feet from my house but I don't know which one it is and I've tried many many times to try and figure it out and I can't and and I'm always like at least I got my girlfriend she knows more you know what I mean obviously she's been living her whole life and she knows the system a lot more but you know for the most part as I'm you know trying to figure it out on my own I always get it wrong now sure maybe with more practice I'll eventually figure it out but but that's the thing you know what I mean that's the point I'm kind of trying to make that you know sure I guess I'll figure it out but it's like is it even worth it sometimes you know now the only thing that's good about it is that it's beyond dirt cheap it's 750 pesos so that's like 40 cents give or take 50 tops no but i think it's more like 40 35 cents that's the only saving grace of the bus and again you know just depending on when you go and all that good stuff it'll literally depend on whether whether or not um you know it's a good ride or not you know what i mean so like you know ideally you want to be on the bus so there's nobody on there you don't want to be on one of these buses which you see look it's like so packed to the brim how the fuck do they even fit that many people in there so that's the thing and so you know in a lot of cities that i've lived in you know eventually what they do is that they close off certain streets and certain streets are just for buses just for mass transit and so on and so forth but here they don't they don't do that at all they keep everybody together and it's again it's a shit show it's a mess you know hence why maybe you see so many people on motorbikes and on regular bikes and and all that shit because it's just you know they want to get to point a to point b and they don't got the patience to either be sitting in traffic or whatever it is and um but that's like a reality of life out here you know and then a lot of times like the bus will get there late and then you'll see like you know that same route have like three buses come in at once and it's like you know the first and second bus will fill up and then you get the third bus empty it's like there's no real management a correct management of any of this shit like i'm not a fucking traffic engineer but i fucking know that a lot of this stuff ain't right and then i, I like um you know this is one of the things that i wanted to say earlier but i forgot um was that uh, another thing by the way the streets are so empty today it's like fuck man it really is the back to school everybody is already at school holy shit I swear to God, I feel like I'm walking, it's Tuesday morning, and it's like, I feel like I'm walking here on a Sunday afternoon, or Sunday night morning, you know, when there's nobody around. That's really interesting. Okay, anyway, so back to what I was saying. So, you know, I, I've talked to a lot of people that have come from Mexico City, have come from other major cities here in Mexico, and they themselves have told me that it's a fucking disaster. And then they just tell me, uh yeah like um our bus system in this city is like this this and that and i'm like oh okay that's actually like this like you know like seattle or our bus system or our transit is like this and it's like oh okay i'm thinking to myself okay it's like over here and shit like that and then here in merida you know the bus system the whole transit system is just fucking horrendous um it really is and you know um you know there's all kinds of things you know like people like to just park in the middle of the fucking street there no one's ever gonna say anything even if a cop you know that guy's just parked there you know taking notes doing whatever the fuck he's doing like it's all good like he does not care hola buenos dias bien bien <laughs> and uh you know they're just fucking sitting there like like it's all good and then even if a cop were to fucking st like get behind them they just kind of go boop boop you know like hey move it you know if they're even blocking traffic because not all the time you know what i mean like it's just only if and so it, it's just very interesting you know the whole traffic and uh whatever situation out here is getting really interesting and um as i hear from so many people you know whether they've lived here their whole lives whether it's an expat like me whether it's a whatever you know almost everybody has some neg something negative to say about the bus system again it's not that it's violent or difficult or i mean not difficult it's not like it's violent or 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 bad or anything like that in that kind of sense it's more like it just sucks it just doesn't work you know um as good as it should i like you know sometimes it does work really good you know i'm not, I'm not i don't really want to bash it too much because it, it's not horrible it's not like the worst fucking thing ever but um but it is it is lacking that's for sure it's definitely lacking i hope it doesn't rain it seems like it might be raining soon but um it's definitely fucking lacking that's for sure 
and um but the thing is that you know at the very least you know there's other options out here like again you know whether it's taxis or ubers or whatever there's always always other options you know for you to for you to choose from without a problem so that's always a good thing hold on oh man there's like an eyeglass see i was supposed to come and uh i gotta figure it out because i got i need new glasses you know that's one of the reasons why i'm out here today but like i said you know the bus system see look this one's packed to the brim it's uh things like that at least they drive fast at least they get you to from point to point b as fast as humanly possible the all, all, almost all these bus drivers for the most part are all like you know um former f1 drivers <laughs> former nascar drivers or whatever and so that's that's always really good at least you know they're not you know driving super slow and it's like the worst thing ever they literally try to make every red light they're little they, they're literally the most aggressive people on the road and so on and so forth so that's that's one of the good things but the re but the reality is it's like it is very limiting and um when it comes down to it you know if you really really need the bus system to take you wherever the fuck you need to go it'll do that it, it'll definitely do that no problem it'll get you to where you need to get to it's just probably gonna take forever but it'll it'll work it, it works and it's uh you know it's not again it's not the worst I, there's definitely worst out there but the thing is to me it's like this city is growing a lot and it's growing very fast and um just from my own experience my own experience of being other places um if this is if this is not taken under control soon it's going to be a real disaster before you know it it's as simple as that um it, this is one of those things that, that um every growing city needs to start you know taking a hold you know start you know getting under control before it controls the city so one of the things another thing i wanted to say is like you know before when i first moved here i used to go to the center all the time on weekends and um you know outside with it outside of the fact that it was packed full of tourism you know tourists um you know for the most part it was all right it, it was it was like um like let's say even new york city if you go to new york city on a saturday or sunday it's like dead you know like the city the city is dead <laughs> you know what do i mean by the city being dead is like well because most people um live outside of the city and the city is like a business center and uh you know people just come to the center when they need to come to the center and uh and so like on weekends you know it's like everyone's out doing their family thing whatever so i mean that, that's just how it is in most big cities so here it was about the same thing but now in recent weekends you know you see me going out with my girl all the time to run errands and do shit you know we're you know we're, we're realizing we're coming up with uh you know we're realizing that every single time that we're out on uh in the center on a saturday afternoon or sunday afternoon it's like bro there's more people out here now than on tuesday what the hell's going on and um it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and you know they're not from here you know they're definitely not from here and they're definitely not expats either you know where are they coming from well they're coming from other parts of mexico they're coming from central america and they're just coming here to the safest city in all of mexico probably the safest city in most of latin america at the moment or at least this whole major area and so they're just you know coming and uh living their life out here and bringing their you know um bringing all their customs and their culture and bringing all that shit. and so you know the same problems that you know we're having back home back in the us of a the same problems that and the same complaints that everybody has about you know immigrants they have out here it's not that much different now, you know that's another it's another thing that i learned about being out here which was really interesting was that they, they have their own immigration situation and then when you hear people talking about it out here it's pretty similar you know they, they deal with it they talk about it they you know they're just as worried and concerned as like the typical you know middle middle american that's uh, living in middle america type of shit it's literally like, kind of like the same situation it's uh it's really interesting but that's not what we're talking about today you know we're talking about the we're talking about the bus the bus and the transit system out here and so as we get closer to the center it starts getting more and more clogged up and and that's the thing you know maybe the people out here might not maybe the people out here might not necessarily realize 
you know, um, that this is a problem that can be solved and should be solved and needs to be, you know, um, attacked immediately. Um, I see it. I think others that come from abroad that have uh, really seen major, major cities, really seen major traffic, really seen major, you know, all that shit, you know, like just major population rise, I can see it from a mile away because again, I can see it from a mile away. If some of the local residents already feel it and see it, imagine, imagine people that are, you know, again, I come from big cities. I'm out here in a small city, even though there's a million people in the city, there's not that many people here. You know what I mean? Like in, in context, you know, of like where I've been and, and all that stuff. It's a lot of noise out coming from there, but yeah, I mean, you know, right now, like I'm, I'm already seeing, let me see if I can show you. I can already see the traffic building up. And again, still nothing. You know, like this past Saturday, this past Saturday, there was way more traffic, way more everything. It's like, it should be busier now, okay? And it's not. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, that's one of the things about here that kind of sucks, the, tra the, the bus system. Not quite, not quite sure what they're doing over there. On a Tuesday morning. I think they're giving away some stuff, like a big giveaway, like a big, uh, I think they sell stuff there. But again, guys, you know, to me, this is, a, this is a very fixable problem when it comes to like the bus system and the mass transit system. Now, are they going to attack it in time? I don't know. I don't know, but at some point they will have to attack it. At some point they will have to figure this out because otherwise everything's just gonna come to a standstill. And we're getting pretty close to that in certain areas. That's for sure. So yeah, as you guys can see, as they get to the center, it just gets louder, more people, the whole nine. It is what it is, but all right guys. Well, I'm here at the place I need to get to. I need to come to the store here and uh, buy me some some blunts and then I gotta go figure out the eyeglass situation and uh, go from there so guys thank you so much for watching today thank you so much for listening today I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's episode you know talking about you know talking about the, the bus system talking about mass transit out here and all that good stuff there's a lot of uh, a lot of more noise you know it's funny it's noise but there's more noise on Saturday which is insane um, still still trying to figure out what the hell's going on out here with that but it's definitely a big boom in population and a big boom in economy and a big boom in every aspect you can imagine out here. So guys, if you're thinking about it, stop thinking so much and just make your way out here, all right? Or make your way wherever the fuck you wanna go, but just start doing something, all right? Um, and that's it, don't be like the bus system. Don't be lacking behind. Be ahead of the, be ahead of the game, all right? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. And uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go see if I can win uh, some tickets and see if I can uh, get a picture with the clown, all right? Love you guys, and I'll see you guys manana. Hey, guys. Guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now, you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker, and if you guys want any special request on things, for me to put in the store then please by all means let me know and uh we'll get our graphic artist you know on top of it yeah that means you gotta work lambo all right guys thank you so much love you guys and i'll see you guys manana